Hello and a very warm welcome. Today is a very special day as it is race week. Formula One finally returns at the end of the week after a month's break. And I'm so happy that Formula One will be finally back. It will be round 14 around the iconic Spa. And I, for one, cannot wait. Yeah, it's been... It's good for the teams, mechanics, drivers to, you know, recharge the batteries, media, flying around the world, different countries, continents. But yeah, it's good to have a break for everyone associated with Formula One. But yeah, if I could, if I could choose, I'd have Formula One on every weekend. I've missed it. I live, breathe and die for Formula One. Formula One is my passion. And, yeah, I'm buzzing it's back. It's round 14. What are we going to see? Are we going to see a continuation of Max's dominance? Are we going to see Ferrari maybe go on the intermediates on a dry track? Um, yeah. Ah, Mercedes finally going to pull their finger out and actually win races in 22. McLaren and Alpine are going to have a big tussle. And that's going to be awkward come whenever they get to the track, Wednesday, Thursday. Fernando Alonso going back to the Alpine garage. I wouldn't mind being a fly on the wall there. That could be very awkward. Oscar Piastri as well. Um, you could cut the tension with a knife there. Alonso basically ousted Alpine in the summer break. He's fucked off to Aston Martin. Piastri's basically like disgraced the Alpine name. Yeah, McLaren, what are they going to do? We haven't heard anything in the summer break regarding their driver lineup. We know Norris is there, but what's happening with Ricardo? Then you got the midfield, Alfa Romeo, are they still going to be unreliable? Alfa Tauri need to up their game. Sonoda can't race, Gasly's been poor. Aston Martin are dreadful. There's a reason Sebastian Vettel's fucking off, because Aston Martin are slow. And Williams are nowhere. Absolute nowhere, um, which is a shame. And I missed out Haas. Haas F1, up and down like a yo-yo. One minute they're good, one minute they're poor. Up, you know. I, I just miss Formula 1. I can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait. And we're, we're not just coming back. We're coming back with a bang. We're going round Spa. Famous corners such as La Source, Eau Rouge, Radion, Kemmel Strait. Yeah, it's it's just amazing. Puon, Blanchimont. It's like one of the best circuits of all time. And hopefully it will stay on the calendar. But yeah, I'm buzzing. It's race week. If you're not excited, you should be. Because it's race week. Formula 1 will be back on the screens on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I, for one, I can't wait. It is like I said before. It's good to have a break, but you know, it's time to get back racing now. I bet the drivers are absolutely itching to get in the car. You know, you've had a tense battle through the season. You race sharp. You're feeling good, and then you have a, basically a month off, and then getting in the car for the first time again. You're feeling a bit rusty, but yeah, interesting. I can't wait. It's going to be interesting. I'm also looking excited. Like, I'm excited for Alonso. Like, when he has to do his media duties to see what he's got to say. <laughs> That's going to be some awkward shit. He's just been at the MotoGP at Austria as well, Alonso. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's race week. Round 14, Spa. What a circuit. What a venue to return. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your thoughts. F1 is finally back.